Hey everybody, Hoop Smiles here. Gonna do a review today uh, about this little mic that I got on. This is the, the True Wireless Evo System by Special Projects Audio. It's a great little mic. It doesn't have a belt pack, which is incredible because for what I do, uh, if you don't already know, I am a, a entertainer and hula hoop performer, a musician. So when I go out and do shows and whatnot, oftentimes I'm hula hooping around my body at the same time as I might be uh, talking into a microphone, like if I'm teaching people how to hula hoop. And the problem I encounter is those belt packs. So other microphones, wireless systems, they call them wireless microphone headsets they have belt packs and they get in the way. So for people that really want to move their bodies, dance, you know, do whatever you're going to do, uh, this is a nice little microphone that you might want to look at. To access the video table of contents for this video, scroll down to the video description. There you will find the titles of each section of this video. If you don't want to watch the entire video all the way through, you can either skip forward or backward to the title screen starting points by clicking the links. So here's the box that I got uh, that has all the equipment inside when I, uh, when I received this in the mail. And if you notice, if you look at this box, it's actually a pretty nice box. It has a little uh, carrying thing at the top. So if you want to, let's say, not buy a special case for this, you could actually just keep it in the box and carry it around. Now inside the box, you'll find a receiver. You'll find attachable antennas that go on the receiver. You'll find the power cable to the receiver as well as the charging cable uh, for the headset. You'll also find uh, mounting gear. So if you want to mount this to a rack, uh, that's really nice. It comes with the gear to do so. Uh, there's also a manual, which is uh, really helpful actually. And we've also got some dielectric silicone grease if you need that as well as well as uh, looks like there's another cable in here. Also inside you will find this item here that looks like a pin, but is actually not a pin. Uh, you can go ahead and take the cap off here and it's actually a screwdriver. And this is the tool that you will use to change the channel manually on your headset. So here is the Scan 16 receiver. Comes with a couple of attachable antennas, which I'm just gonna go ahead and attach to the back like so. And these antennas are adjustable, so you can sort of move them around. And also a nice feature about these antennas is uh, it looks like the, the port for them is pretty standard. So I'm guessing you could even probably find an antenna extender cable or something to even get more range um, with this unit. So I'm going to put the other antenna in there. And since I have it on the back here, you'll see uh, what kind of connectors there are. Uh, so there's an unbalanced and a balanced uh, connection there. So I'm going to turn it, turn it back here. And now I'm gonna take the power cable and plug it in and it should turn right on. So you'll notice uh, kind of flashes red there. So that red number is the channel that it is currently on and it looks like it's on channel six. And if you wanna change the channel, you can go ahead and just hold in the set button until it starts flashing and then you can actually change it. So I'm going up, now I'm gonna go down so let's just leave it on channel five. Now, a really cool function about this is you can actually scan uh, scan the channels for, for a channel that is clear of interference. So let's say if you go on tour and you're doing fitness events or whatever, and you, know, you get someplace and then you find all this interference on a channel, well, if you hold down the set button for multiple seconds until you see the squiggly lines go really fast around, uh, that's when it actually scans for uh, a, a clear channel. So once you've got your channel in place, you can use this knob right here to adjust the volume. Now here is the headset mic itself. So to kind of give you a close-up view of it, it's a very, very flexible mic, which is great 
for if let's say you have a bigger or smaller head or you know uh, you just really want to form that mic to your head it's great for that as well and uh, the actual uh, mic piece that comes down is very flexible as well so if you have that that mic on and you're like oh I don't want it to be that close to my mouth you can actually move it away and move it back very very easily so let's look and see what's actually on the side of this device so uh, the transmitter is over the left side of the ear and right here if I let's say pull this out you're gonna see a little port right there that's how you actually charge the headset and you have some other things here so this little part right here with the little Wi-Fi looking symbol on it if I take this off that little cover that's actually how you change the channel so if you want to change the channel to you know match the one on the receiver you're gonna to have to manually do it using the little uh, pin screwdriver that I showed you before now if you want to change a channel you just take your little screwdriver put it right in the groove there and you can change it see how I'm moving that around and you might not be able to see it on this video but if you look very close when you remove that cover there's little numbers in there that go around uh, clockwise in a circle and it'll say like uh, one two three and so on and then it gets up to nine and after nine it says a b c d well each of those actually correspond with the channel so of course the one through nine is channels one through nine and then the a b c d and so forth that actually corresponds with the uh, the larger numbers so like uh, channel 10 11 12 and so on and if you have issues with trying to figure that out uh, it'll also let you know in the product manual as well let's go ahead and turn that power button on and you should see a little right red light flash that little red light that just flashed um, you'll see one red light flash that means that it's on and then it turns off so if you think oh it's it's not working that's actually how it's supposed to be so right now it's on now if I want to turn it off I just hold it in and then you'll see multiple flashing lights and that means uh, the mic is turned off okay so let's come back show you a little bit more about the mic so now I'm gonna put it actually on my head so as you can see I have a lot of hair and um, I purposefully wanted to kind of keep it out just to kind of show you um, what it's like to have long hair wearing this mic of course I feel like it's way easier if you have shorter hair and putting on these true wireless mics I've had problems before with like the Samson mics actually coming off because of my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on Generally, what I'll do is just kind of pull my hair back, even put my head down, and put this mic on. Whoop, if I can get the right, right side here. So as you can see, fairly easy actually to get this uh, to get this mic on, even though I have long hair. And this mic, this mic is actually staying in, in place very well. So if I move my head here um, I don't feel like this mic is gonna come off uh, so this is this is a really good mic it feels like it's gonna stay in place and it also seems like a great uh, a great fit for even someone who has longer hair and it was very easy to get on my head which is a good feature Now, most people out there, I'm assuming when you buy a mic like this, you're probably not going to use it uh, for making videos because, of course, you know, when you go to like a fitness center, you're going to be teaching people how to hula hoop or whatever you're doing. Um, it might sound completely different uh, when you're in a gym than, you know, if you plug this into a video camera, it might sound way better plugged into a video camera. So let's go ahead and actually try this on a system that's amplified and see how it sounds. Okay, so this is what I sound like outside, amplified. But uh, you know what, let's play a little music because I'm guessing when you're in an instructional situation or you know, you're gonna be doing a show or something, you're probably gonna have some music on in the background. So I still got the mic going. And what's nice about this mic is, is it is directional. So 
Uh, it's nice that they set it up so it doesn't take in too much sound from anywhere else. Like right now I'm in Seattle and there are tons of sounds going on around me right now. Animals, construction, they're actually building something over there. So yes, so this is what you hear from the amplified version of the mic. Well, let's play some music as well. Give you an idea of what that sounds like with music. So I'm going to play actually one of my songs in the background. So let's see if we can get it going here. So now I'm turning the music up. So this is what it sounds like when I have music on in the background. Yes, so you can tell me what you think in the comments. If you like the sound of this mic when it's amplified or, uh, you know, when the music's playing, what it sounds like when you know, we're outside. Right now it's a little windy too, so they got the little windscreen on here, which is nice. So if I'm, let's say, moving around, and I'm coming over here, there's not really much feedback by this mic. This is, this is what it sounds like. So let me know what you think of this mic in the comment section below. I also got a chance to take some video at the Fall Fisherman Festival using this Evo headset wireless system. Uh, now where the camera is actually located is behind the speakers so you know you, you're not going to actually hear um, you know the full quality of this mic because it's kind of in the back part of the stage but let's check it out. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Left side of Smiles. I've been on television multiple times, have millions and millions of views online and uh, I'm here to do a show. It's pretty good. I'm a professional fully entertainer. In terms of who would benefit the most from using uh, the Evo True Wireless system, I would definitely say if if you're an instructor, you know, uh, you know, fitness instructor, hula hoop instructor, you're doing something very physically active and you really need to move your body, this is a great mic uh, for that type of situation. As far as musically speaking, uh, I did actually get a chance to perform my How to Hula Hoop rap song. Uh, this last Saturday at a festival and I, I actually thought it sounded pretty good um, You know wrapping vocals using this headset mic while hula hooping around my waist. Um, I, yeah, I thought it worked out great um, And from what I could hear in the sound, you know, it was nice And there were times I was able to walk off the stage and it just felt good I felt so free to just kind of walk through the audience and not having to worry about all these wires and everything. And so, yeah, I, I thought this uh, this setup actually worked out very nicely. And I don't recall there being much interference or really any interference at all uh, doing, during that performance. Now, in terms of singing, I haven't done much singing in this mic. So, you know, I, I don't really have much to say in, in, that, in that aspect. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, I, I think this is a great mic. Right, so you might also be wondering what is the battery life of this uh, of this headset. So uh, I haven't actually recharged this uh, battery ever since before I did my last show, which which was this last Saturday. And during that show, I did um, about an hour long staged performance. So you know that was a probably at least a good hour that this mic was turned on. And then also making this video, um, I haven't recharged it in between. So that's another at least hour or two hours that this mic has been on. And, and the mic is still going. So uh, the battery seems to last pretty long. If you actually go on the uh, Special Projects uh, website and actually look at the product info uh, for the headset, it says that it has uh, four hours plus of, of talk time. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind for the battery. let everybody know that uh, no one out there approached me to make this video no one from special projects or uh, no one from anywhere else I actually just uh, went on their website and bought this microphone so I'm just a guy making a video about uh, this microphone system all right so what do you think about this mic overall uh, I went back and looked at some of the footage, especially the footage of um, when I was outside 
using the mic amplified on the Bose uh, S1 Pros. And just notice that it did pick up a lot of the sound of the wind. Like I said, it was uh, somewhat windy outside. So I don't know if a uh, different sort of windscreen or something could help um, mute some of that wind sound. Um, but, you know, that was really one of the only issues I saw. Otherwise, uh, you know, it feels like this is a great, great mic. Uh, definitely feel like this is the best true wireless uh, mic on the, on, on the market. Um, so far, I prefer this over the Samson mics. Um, you know, right now, I believe the price is around $600 to $700, which, yeah, that is kind of expensive uh, for, you know, a microphone like this. But uh, for the most part, you know, the whole setup here seems to be pretty durable. Like, it seems like it's uh, pretty well made, the receiver. Um, I also like that the, that the antennas are detachable. Like, that's a really great feature. Um, so that I can attach like a, an antenna extender on there. Also, too, this actually fits on my head and feels really, really nice and comfortable. Um, barely feels like I have anything on. So, you know, if I had to uh, answer the question, would I recommend this product to a friend or to other people? Definitely, yes. This is this is great. I've already done one show um, where I perform with this. I actually used it at uh, the Fall Fisherman's festival here in Seattle and uh, I thought it was great. It worked out wonderful. I was able to move around and still hula hoop and um, yeah, it was amazing. It, this thing, uh, the mic didn't fall off or feel like it was going to fall off while doing some more of those active movements and whatnot. So yes, I definitely recommend this mic. So uh, let me know what you think about uh, this wireless system. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy.